Next straps. We've all got one if we were a saxophone player, but they don't suit everybody. In fact, for some people, they're just downright uncomfortable. Because if you have any problem with your back or your neck, you're probably gonna find neck strap just does not work for you. Now, I've talked about some alternatives before on my channel, and I'll tell you about those later on, but, I was pretty excited when this arrived from Australia the other day. So this is the sax support. It's a new product. I'm keen to see if it's gonna work out. We're gonna stick it on my baritone today and see how it works. Just before we do that though, I thought I'd run you quickly through my history with neck straps. There's quite a few here. So like lots of you, I started off with a standard Yamaha neck strap. They work really, really well. They've got a great hook on them, but they're a bit uncomfortable if you're wearing it for hours on end. This is a fancier Yamaha one that came with my Pro Custom Z Soprano over there. A little bit thicker around here. Still not super comfortable, but it kind of works quite well. Now, I've had a bunch of these cheaper ones too, like this one from Amazon. Not my favorite. So the ones I use for absolutely years are these kind. Look how manky that one is there. That's the sweat of a thousand gigs. <laughs> so I like these style because they've got a thicker padding around the neck. I find them quite comfortable. I like the way they've got these proper clips as well so the saxophone can't come off. But for those of you who follow the channel, you'll know that for years I've been using this neck strap, which is called a Sebula neck strap. It's got a really comfortable yoke. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Comes around the top here. Leather, lots of padding. I like the string as opposed to the webbing because it's a bit more inconspicuous. It's got a really great clip on the bottom. Uh, they're not cheap, these, but I've had two in the last 10 years. Honestly, it's lasted so many years. This is probably the most comfortable neck strap that I've ever owned. But enough about neck straps. I want to look at the alternatives. So let me show you what's inside the sax support bag. So it's quite a clever idea, this, that Steve's come up with. Basically what it uses is something that looks a little bit like a walking pole. Now it attaches to your saxophone using Velcro. I know what you're thinking, and I've got some thoughts on that. I'll tell you about that in a second. There's also a couple of these straps. We use those to attach the sax support to the saxophone. So this is the actual support itself. And look, there's actually two little clips on here. So we can actually make it quite long. I guess that's for really tall saxophone players. Oh, and there's a nice rubber stopper at the end so it doesn't slip around on the floor. Oh, I should also say, if you want to get yourself one of these sax supports, I've organized a special discount for you. So as a viewer of my channel, you can use the link and the coupon code down below to get 15% off a sax support. I think they're running that for us until the end of December. So look for the link down below and go grab yourself a discount on the sax support. So I'm gonna bosh this on my Barry sax in a second, but first of all, I wanna tell you about another alternative. So this is the Jazz Lab sax holder. It's a pretty crazy looking contraption and weird to think that for years we just got by with something that looks like a piece of string. Now we've got something that's all made of plastic and stuff, but it actually works really well. So the idea behind this is the weight goes entirely on your shoulders and it also supports against your middle. It's all adjustable as well. The one thing you do need to order correctly though is the length of the string. Now it is adjustable, but I found I had to do a little bit of measuring and tinkering to make sure I got one that was long enough for me. I'm quite tall, and for me to play tenor saxophone, I needed one that was quite long. If you want to know more about the Jazz Lab sax holder, I've done a proper review on our blog. I'll put the link down below. So the sax holder is really popular amongst our members at Sax School. Loads of our members use this. In my studio here, I'm often sat down when I'm recording just because of the shape of the room and I'm quite tall, right? So for me, it forces me to be in one, only one position with the sax holder, which I don't really love. I'd like to be a little bit more flexible. Sometimes I want to play on the side and that doesn't feel very comfortable with this. So it's not a perfect solution for me, but one good thing about it is it does take the weight off your neck and it does encourage you to have a really good posture when you play. So that brings us back to the sax support. Now I'm really excited about using this, but I wanna make sure that I can also put my saxophone on the stand. There's actually some really good info on the sax support website, and there seems to be a couple of options. Some people are mounting it on the bottom, and some people are mounting it on the side. And I'm just wondering if on the side might be a better option because that way I can also have it on my saxophone stand. I mentioned back at the start how you need to put this Velcro strip on the side of your saxophone. I'm a bit concerned about that though, as maybe you are, 
because that's a 1970s Mark VI Barry sax. And I know older saxophones, the lacquer is different to more modern saxophones, maybe not as hardy. But the great thing was I emailed Steve and asked him about this and he actually sent me pictures of his Mark VI Barry sax, which he's had the Velcro on for years. He took it off and guess what? The lacquer was absolutely fine. So what do you reckon? Should we give it a go? I'm game if you are. <laughs> Well, there's no turning back now. I've got the strip on my Barry sax. So the sax support itself has got Velcro on the stem. But of course, that's not strong enough to hold the sax support on the saxophone while you're playing. And that's why we've got these little Velcro straps. So the final part of the process is securing the sax support to the saxophone using the straps. Let's do that. Looking pretty cool there, I think. Look at that. So the final step is to just adjust the length of it so that it feels comfortable when I'm playing. Now there's one other option that I've spoken about before on my channel and that's the sax seat. I'll put the link for it up here. Now that's quite an interesting solution but it is quite big and cumbersome. Although at our recent sax school weekender, one of our students actually brought his sax seat with him to use to play for the, for the two days. So the sax seat is an interesting idea. But I think this is just a bit more streamlined and a bit more practical on a day-to-day -day basis and you can actually take it with you to gigs, which I think is really cool. Okay, so let's see what it feels like when I'm playing with it. So it takes a little bit of adjusting at the start just to get the length right so you're comfortable. Okay, so a couple of things I've noticed. First of all, it does say on the sax support website that you should use a neck strap when you're playing with the sax support. And I guess that makes sense because there were a couple of times where I just felt if I wasn't careful with my hands, the saxophone could fall away from me as I was playing. You'd probably get used to that over time, but it's a good idea as a backup. The other thing is you can use the sax support with Barry sax like I am here, but also with tenor sax or with alto sax. And something I really liked compared with the sax holder or with the sax seat is that I could move around a little bit as I was playing because it gave me some freedom. It did take me a couple of minutes to adjust the height though, so you do need to maybe spend some time getting it right and then probably get a sharpie and just mark on the stands the heights that are right for you when you're standing and when you're seating. And one more cool thing about the sax support guys is they also make a didge support. So if you're a didgeridoo player like me, then check out one of these. I think it's brilliant. Look at the ball on the end. So that's the sax support. Don't forget about that 15% coupon. It's in the description down below. And let me know in a comment if you use the sax support or some other device like this instead of an extra.